Hello. I thought today that I'd draw another couple of little scenes, or maybe one depending on how long it takes me, scenes from around my village, and then paint them with mainly granulating watercolours. I've done four other little paintings in a similar style, and hopefully I can uh, get this to work out okay. I'd already stuck the washi tape on and started this sketch a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just picking up from there. Okay, so now I've got my uh, rough outline drawn. I'm going to go over the main lines, pressing a little harder so that I can um, rub away most of the graphite and still know where to paint. Okay, so I've got my basic outlines now. I'm going to go back in with pencil and add a few more details, which will just stay there now. I don't mind having some of the graphite showing through. A lot of the granulating paints that I'll be using have got grey tones or black or brown granulation to them, and so the graphite will blend in fine with that. just had some of my other cards back from the printers so I've grabbed a couple of them out. Um, I'll keep these on hand near me so that I can use a fairly similar colour scheme so that the cards as a collection uh, look coherent. So I've got those off to one side and I'll just get my granulating paints out. Also on hand I've got out my swatch folder and I've opened it to the two pages that I've got of my granulating paints so that I've got an easy reference uh, to be able to go to the paint I want straight away. These are the paint brushes that I'll probably use. There's a Rosemary & Co um, short flat, silver black velvet number four, and then two Proline Pro Arts in three slash zero and one. So now I just block in the sections that I've created. I'm going to start off with Daniel Smith's Verditor in the Sky. Where I've got a big area that I'm painting, I try and leave the edge that's open, that will you know need to be carried on being painted. I try and leave that as wet as possible so I don't get drying lines. So for example, I just drop a bit of water in on that edge while I go and do some detail over here. And then I can come back and work on it.
So this building on the right and the adjoining wall is very old stone and it's it's very mottled looking. And there's a lot of black stone in it in the wall. So I'm going to paint this whole section with Roman Schmoll's Aquarius Black because that's a deeply granulating mottled looking black paint. Okay, so I'm going to do the church roof next, just because it's separate from any other paint and won't run into it. And the roof is quite a subtle greeny grey colour, so I'm going to use Schmincke's Shire Grey for that. Do all of my all of these kind of paintings uh, wet on dry, but I do use quite a lot of water in my paint mix so that the pigment in the paints can really move and do their thing. There's like a mossy ridge along the top of the church roof. And I'm using Daniel Smith German greenish raw umber for this. Now the problem with this picture, which I'm hoping I'll be able to manage okay, is that there's an awful lot of stone and brickwork and a lot of it's greys and blacks. So we've got the a black tarmac road, a wall a building with a lot of black in it, black tarmac path, uh, black slate tiles, and then the church is all grey. So I've got to find out, find ways to gradually build in the greys and blacks so it doesn't all look too samey, but that it kind of hangs together right as well. So I'm just kind of proceeding a bit at a time and trying to make sure it's going to look all right as I go along. Also, I dabbed away a bit of the sky here because there's a tree that's going to just be peeping out in this corner. So I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So the paint around the steeple is dry now, so I'm going to go in with the, ste with the steeple. The stonework is quite a light yellowish grey for this, and I'm going to use Schmincke's Desert Grey. I'm not finding I'm needing the smaller paint brushes today. Getting on fine with this number four black velvet. That's quite a nice tip. This side of the spire is in the sun. So I'm painting it with the light of off titanium. And the stonework around the window can be done in that as well.
Okay, I think that will do for now. I might add a few more details when it's completely dry, but let's take a look at that now. Okay, so I think it's got the same kind of vibe as the rest of my little paintings. As ever thank you very much for watching I hope that was useful to uh, see my process of doing these little kind of blocky granulating paint scenes see you next time bye